country in a better and bigger way. Speaking to MTV News, MP Gata says education is a sector under the DDA's priority areas. He says schools have been supported with new classrooms, teachers' house, solar panels, transport and school uniforms. Gata says 10.5 million kina has been spent in the education sector. Why we're doing this is we want to exp we were, um, the level of education be uplifted in Daulof. So that's one biggest thing that I'm really serious about getting the education, the level of education in my district at a high level so that they continue to be, to be on that level. The district has prioritized schools who urgently need attention. To improve schools, roads have also been fixed so students attend to classes. The Daulo MP says many schools have received little support with many producing better academic results. And uh, we were really pleased to see that the number for Daulo of uh, students up in, uh, entering uh, university level, the number increases up to 366 by, uh, you know, year in a year, and almost 100, uh, 750, which I feel really proud of. A key component of funding continues to support students attending universities and colleges. The MP said this will continue. We continue to continue to support our students. We really continue to support our students, which I feel I'm really pleased to see numbers increasing in a university. That's, that, uh, that is um, a lot of problem to me. I just want to make sure make more of Daulo students into universities. That's, uh, that's my main aim. In other sectors, the Daulo MP says law and order is also seeing an increase in support. He says with Daulo sharing border with other highlands provinces, the DDA wants to see council chambers and police posts along the border. Uh, there was an incomplete pro project for Upper Asaro LLG Chamber, and uh, I've already secured some fund. I've already secured some fund. We will complete that LLG Chamber. I'm appealing to Upper Asaro, please, uh, we'll fund, uh, we'll, we'll get this project out of the way, and at uh, the same time we'll be putting up a police a patrol post up there. Police should be up in Upper Asaro as well, and we'll see how best we can do it. The law and order will be cut down, and we'll see what we can do about our people. Jack Lopava Jr., National MTV News.